Yes. yes. That one I'm really excited about. Because once they first announced it, I was like, I don't care if it's animated. I want to see yes. this. It's going to be cool. the fact that, you know, it's the voice actor, it's the, the actors, actors coming play. back to do the voice acting. Yeah. Like, I always loved the voice acting in Clone Wars. Yes. Because they did a really good job emulating the voices. Yeah. But then as soon as you find out it's not the actors, it's like, uh oh. Yeah. I was like, serious credit to, um... Hey, Kelly. Lego... Lego Marvel superheroes because they at least did a good job at yeah. getting as close as they could to the movie characters. Like the Iron Man Tony Stark sounds like a knockoff uh, Robert Downey Jr. So it's like it's close enough. They tried. What? Are you attracted to other species? I'm I'm pretty big fan of Sean and I are having a deep conversation, and you just went, wait, guys? She's, she's talking about her Bad Dragon collection. <laughs> you know, shout out to Bad Dragon, official sponsor of this video. I'm pulling a play out of Andrew's book. Bad Dragon, if you want a fantasy dildo, you come to the right place. One of these days, it'll work, and we'll get some free product. You we know? never got the yingling I kept pitching. If we got a free bad dragon, I would be happy. How can I get out of these fucking clothes? Uh, go back up to your cabin. Eddie, get me out of these. What's this area? Edie? Oh my fuck, Eddie, come on. Go up to your cabin. Thank God. You guys know that your conversation. The stabbing cabin. I just gotta get the fuck out of the these The stabbing clothes. cabin for his bad dragon dildo, sponsored by Bad Dragon. And stabbing cabin. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So is Rack Reppard gay? Shit. Straight? Bi? Like, what is he? I think he's an opportunist. Yeah, he's for everything. If it's got at least one hole for him to shove something in, he's good. So, so he's pansexual. Mm -hmm. He'll fuck a piano. Yeah. Is that pansexual? I think it is. What a professional pianist! Oh man, he likes putting his pianist in things. Oh. Yeah, I made that joke. I went there. Ooh, visor. Nice. I love the pink. It actually looks good. He is ready to work at McDonald's. Welcome to McDonald's. How can I help you? Don't change the colors. No, no I was just seeing what other options that. Casual, that's going to be. That was my favorite casual. Oh, that's my casual right there. This shit. My I like favorite. how it's just a bar of how casual are you. <laughs> Except the last part instead of casual was like, I'm super formal. Ooh, right? Yes, yeah, like, I like music. I want to point out that all the select music in the sound system in your room is the music from the first game. Like, shout out to the developers. They're like, you like the first game's music? We'll give it to you. But it's only in your cabin. I, I, I also would have liked it. you set off your alarm and guards came in to attack you. <laughs> oh, it's my room, I swear! Why are your pants down? <laughs> it's my room. It's, it's no pants, no problem. I like his uh, Marty McFly look. It's very Marty McFly meets Biff, I guess. Yeah. Past Biff, not future Biff. Yeah. <laughs> if you could put a metal helmet on him. <laughs> oh, God almighty. Oh. I'm sorry, Chuck. My seat's gone. Blame your brother. Blame your brother. All right. Ah, that was a weird angle. <laughs> I did not like that twist. So now you got to leave the Boltzmann system. Get me out of here. Yeah, Go works. back to the Citadel in the Widow system. Full speed! You're going to need fuel. I told you I was going to run out of gas soon. Good thing there's a fuel depot right there. Right where? Going to the gas station. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I'll do probes. The one probe you need. There you go. You're only giving yourself 100 fuel? What? Nope, yeah. nope. You went back to the Serpent Nebula. Ah, I just wasted that 100 fuel. Okay. Mass yeah, relay. Nope. Too. Mass relay. I'm flying through it. Nothing's happening. You have to press A. <laughs> Alright. So, I guess our next thing is to go recruit the convict. Yep, here we go. Shh. 
Shoot me through, baby. Code purple drink. Code purple drink. Curd purple peach. Cur well, curd purple peach. <laughs> curd purple, purple peach. The code and the purple got mixed together a couple times. <laughs> code purple mm. purple peach. Curd purple peach. Curd purple peach. You heard of cheese curds. Now have purple curd. Bird curd gerber. What are you, the Swedish chef? Burger, 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 burger. All right, this time you actually get to pick your squad mates. You don't get stuck with Kasumi. They only painted half this cardinal. <laughs> you look on the back side of its head. <laughs> He's not wrong. Normal cardinal. Ooh. <laughs> it's like we're just gonna put a dot on here. It's an eye. Trust like, me. Someone just went with a sharpie and was like, "Fuck, we missed." <laughs> just that one spot. Oh my they God. painted the rest of that side, but they're like, "No, yeah, we put them on it the would, gnome too soon." It Let's would have see. only been better if they did like half of a smiley face on the <laughs> other side. Here we go. Smile. Two points still only? You haven't leveled up. You still need 180 experience points. Oh my god. Just That's wait. You give just one wait. each. No, just wait. Trust me. It's worth it. Yeah, exit. Let's fucking go. Alright, we're going to a prison ship. Alright. Wasn't this the movie, uh, the plot of a Guy Pierce movie? Yes. What was that movie? Prison Break. 90% sure. Alexa, fuck! What the was the ones. Guy Pierce movie where he breaks into a spaceship? Sorry, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Don't lie, Alexa. I'm looking it up. I, I have it was, to. It was Prison Break or Breakout? I'm telling you. Breakout. That might have been it. Breakout Kings. Guy Pierce. I like that I put Guy P I E and then it's a kangaroo and I'm like, what? Guy Kangaroo. Guy Kangaroo? Yes. I'm Warden Kiro, and this is my ship. Guy Pierce. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. Prison. I like how the options are I'll keep my weapons or it's not going to happen. Yep. I'm not surrendering my gun. I mean, accurate. Lockout. That's uh, it. That was, and I like that we were thinking of the same thing, but. We had different so days. Guy Pierce is an actor that it's easy to have a lot of opinions on. What's the worst Guy Pierce movie you've seen? Let's go. Mine was Prometheus. Oh, I and, forgot and they, seen that. Well, they cast him so they could literally have him in one scene, and then they threw prosthetics on him so you couldn't recognize him. Yeah. We keep tight control of Fuck Prometheus. I had such. High hopes for Prometheus. Me too. Yeah, and then it's and, kind of. And, and my favorite part is, is they kept going on and Didn't saying. Like that, <laughs> He's like, this will work. <laughs> they kept going on and saying it's not an alien prequel. And then it's an alien prequel. And then it's an alien prequel. In the worst way possible. And, and like, at least what was it? Covenant was a better prequel, but it yeah, still was yeah. terrible. To be fair, they were right. It wasn't an alien prequel. It was an alien covenant prequel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alien Covenant was a better movie. They did start Danny McBride in an action role. Yeah. I think the, the best And he part, wasn't an asshole. The no. best part of Alien Covenant <laughs> is like the most awkward parts of that movie is the parts where they tried to ham fist Prometheus into the plot. Yes. Yep. You're gonna fall off the chair. It's gonna be funny. <laughs> But I guess it's that's not up there. I guess I guess that's what happens when you make a movie based entirely around one prop from the original movie. Yeah. One prop. Yep. One prop. And they're like, alright, we can do this. We're just gonna explain the elephant man. And then they fucked up. They were that close. If it wasn't an to alien be, movie, it would have been a good sci-fi movie. To be fair, the parts where it harkens back to, you know, the yeah. engineer. Are the best parts of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's head just turned around backwards. <clears throat> like, <throat> I'm not gonna lie, I watched the whole series recently, and I didn't hate the whole, like, ancient dome area. And, like, that would have been cool if it wasn't trying to be alien. 
Yep. Like, if it was just a random space thing, I'd be like, okay, that's kind of cool. I've got one more comic on it that I have to read, but they did, um, they made a comic of the original Alien screenplay. Nice. And it's been really good so far. Um, it's, it's got a lot of similar stuff, but, um, in this, there, there, there is no engineer, there's no, there's no, like, or at least not that I remember. There, there wasn't an engineer or anything like that. Um, what it is is basically they they look in this ancient like pyramid hey. Hey, and you're, and you're they happen to find me. the eggs. I don't care where you take me or and what they, you do to they me. They bring one of the eggs yeah, back to the ship with them. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> yeah. Well, better idea than what they did in Prometheus, where they got the goo all over them and they're like, ah, fuck it, let's all just go back. Right. Yeah, this isn't gonna cause a problem at all. No. Was it was it Prometheus or was it Alien Covenant where it was the bacteria? That was Covenant, wasn't it? I hear the screaming in my head. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Where like the bacteria got in his ear or his eye? I can't remember. It was like a. Spore. I think that was in both actually. Yeah. The yeah. spore was the second one. Okay. But yeah. but because that the, was released from the ship. Yeah, but it was still kind yeah. of bacteria. It, it's a weird two movies. <laughs> yeah. The first one, her boyfriend was flamethrowered. Yes. And then the second one, the lady's husband was flamethrowered. So it did happen in both. <laughs> That's why I was like, they're, they're kind of the same. It's hard to remember. Which is really funny, because then in Alien, no flamethrower. <laughs> Aliens, flamethrower. Alien, the screenplay, flamethrower. <laughs> Aliens, Colonial Marines, no flames. Name, no flame throwers. <laughs> <laughs> Which is weird because it's the it's the telling of the fucking movie with the flamethrowers. <laughs> um, the other thing too, and I don't know if this, this is part of the Investor Day or not, limits. but they're making another the Alien movie. Right. Bring you back your... Is this one actually going to go through? Or are they going to oh, fucking pull that up? Um, it's supposed to take one. place on Earth. Good. What was? There was another movie that was announced recently. Oh, not a movie, a series. Alien Firefly. Series. Firefly is coming back oh, yeah. through Disney. All right, at least they'll get the release order correct. Mm -hmm. That and <laughs> they will most likely be able to hire everyone back. Right, they'll have the they money. Got the money. <laughs> Hi, Alan Tudyk and Nathan Fillion. Welcome back. They killed. Oh. They killed Alan in the movie though. To but are they going to count the movie as canon? Probably. They do, but... I don't even know if they're going to count the original show as canon. I know, that's <laughs> that's the hard thing. That'd be best. <laughs> Just start over clean. All the same people. Oh my God. But... What, what if they... What if they... They, um, Go to hell. they do a reboot. There myself. But the Firefly... The original Firefly show is just a terrible, awful TV show in it. And they even talk about how they can't, you know, air the episodes in the right order. <laughs> that would make me so happy, actually. I would be okay with that. Especially if all the characters are still the original actors. Yep. And they're like, wow, they really didn't do a good job of casting this. <laughs> and it would be like all the original people just older. <laughs> what the fuck? It's a dog! Oh yeah, better smack. Which, you know, I give Mass Effect a lot of shit. It's one of my favorite series, so I feel like I'm allowed to give it shit. Right. But they do some really good naming, like Fenris is the little dog mechs, and the walking mechs are the Loki mechs, yeah, like Loki. and the giant one is the Ymir, Y-M-I-R. Nice. So like they made Norse references, which was nice, but they missed a moment to call one of them Hell, the other part of the Loki saga. Right. Like, that would have made me so happy. Just a Hell mech. Hell mech. Where the fuck you guys are? You even doing anything? Which, actually, real fun shout out in the third game. Not that it's a huge spoiler, because, you know, the game came out in 2013. <laughs> seven years ago. Actually, almost eight now, because it was the spring. Um, but you fight Reaper troops in the third game. And during actual production of the game, they cut an enemy That's because it was too challenging. <laughs> And then they <coughs> completely stripped it of 90% of its powers and put it in a DLC. <laughs> so is, is that the same thing that happened with Andromeda? They're like, no. wow, people might actually want to play this game. Let's, let's take all of the interesting things out. <laughs> yeah. 
We're just not going to talk about that. <laughs> but no, like, it, the adjutants. They're one of the most frightening, as far as Reaper-class troopers are concerned. Probably one of the most frightening enemies of all time. And in the game, they were given the ability to teleport around the map at ease. No limitations on it. That's awful. <laughs> yeah, so on easy difficulty, it was like facing the hardest difficulty enemy. <laughs> so they were like, yeah, it's a little broken. Our game testers can't deal with this, so <laughs> right. we're just going to cut it. Oh, I want to see Let's go. Yeah, I like so they, this bitch. So they cut it completely from the game. And they only put it in the comics to give backstory to the game. And you're like, oh, these are badass. I want to fight them. So they're like, well, I guess we got to put them back in. So they got rid of the teleporting ability and threw them back in. They're still pa- challenging, but it's like, I kind of wish they would teleport around the map. I was going to say, as soon as you add, like, broken things, like, they can just go anywhere. It's like, Ooh. It's that weird balance where you're like, I don't want it, but at the same time, it sounds like fun. Right? I want to be challenged. I'm glad you like Jack. She's pretty badass. I know. I'm trying to figure out who I want to replace her with. Her nickname, by the way, is the Psychotic Biotic. All right. You have to go across the <laughs> I don't finish. like biotics. You use biotics. Mm, yeah, but I don't like others using them. Will you let me jump up? There we go. She's ah. the same class as you. She's Vanguard. She's got the boom booms. <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm not mad, but I'm mad. Because I feel like you knew what I meant, but that was just too good. I can't even fight that. She's got the boom booms. I think they're called breasts. I was talking about the shockwave bubbles that he does where it goes boom, 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 boom. Oh. Oh, that's it. See the Ymir mech. Ah, blew up on him. Not across the bridge. Well, I want to see the dead body lets me get anything from it. The last few dead bodies. See? A hack. You want to do a hack? Yeah, you'll help me. Fuck. Okay, let's do this. Uh, right. Down, down, good. Down, 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 good. Down, left. Down, down, right, <laughs> down, down, good, <laughs> right, <laughs> boom. <laughs> yeah, I very appreciate that I said right and you went left. Ooh. It's not even a classic like I'm looking at you and you do no. the wrong one. It was the, we're looking at the same direction. Shotgun damage upgrade. Oh boy, your shotgun's going to be more powerful. Good. Let's bust this fucker No, you have out. to upgrade it on the ship first. Pick up more missiles. I'm gonna need them. You got three more missiles. She's doing a hell of a good job. Yeah, she's ripping through a lot of guys. <clears throat> Keep trying to change guns like fucking um, gears. Oh my god. <laughs> Using the D-pad. I mean... You blew up one. I didn't know you could get up there. Fuck you. Which is funny, because now you may or may not be able to get back. No, no, he can't. I, there's a way down. But that was a concern of mine. <laughs> like, Andrew, you locked yourself up there. How are you getting down? Like this. <laughs> you know, I want to point out that that's actually one of the best combos with the, with the Vanguard charge attack is the melee. They actually make that a feature of the third game. When you upgrade your vanguard to a certain point, you get a choice. Do you want to increase your shotgun damage or your punching damage? Where the fuck is that one going? So, you can zoom in on them and then... Is there a guy up there? You're there, you can either punch there is. or shoot with the shotgun and it increases the damage. Nice. Because everyone was using the vanguard to get close and then just smack the shit out of people. So it was like, might as well make it a feature. <laughs> well, <What? laughs> oh, I love that you're in a fucking corner and it's coming after you. Just, just me. Ah, <laughs> 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 so 
son of a bitch. <laughs> fucking turtle missiles, man. <laughs> I'm having such flashbacks to fucking Earth Defense Force. Take a shot and it takes an immediate 90 degree. Yeah, shot and I was just watching that one. I shot at the robot. And, it just went up this <laughs> and I caught it just going, in time. I'm like, start what? going down the hall. Where the <laughs> fuck? Well, at least you're not that back that much farther. No, you're, you're just to the point where you gotta go. Let's well, get the shotgun. Did yes, take that? Okay, you got the shotgun. You gotta pick up your miss extra missiles. Not that it matters. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna turtle it anyway. I appreciate that that's now your strategy. You're just gonna fucking come in close and beat the crap out of them. Alright, you guys will handle them. No matter where you shoot, you know it's gonna happen. Yeah. It's full of. <laughs> I hope you hit somebody at least. It just starts doing laps around the building. Oh, well, it just... killed someone. It killed someone. I'll give him credit. Is that who you were going for? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, it's good because I can find out where guys are hi hiding, but it doesn't match with my, uh... It, there's no logic to it. I'm loving this. Let me get this guy with the shotgun. What the fuck? Oh, that thing. Oh, oh shit! That's close. Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad that Mass Effect... You might want to get in cover. Ditto! Bye, I'm, guys. I am so glad that Mass Effect oh, 3 fuck. added a grab system. Like gears. <laughs> Damn. Nice. So you, you can... can take a hostage or... Oh, no. You can oh. grab and instantly <laughs> kill them over cover. Nice. Yeah. Those guys can come out that fucking door would have been fine. I know. They were like, hey, what's going on? Ah, fuck! You this were like, guy? I'm going to survive. I'm going to... Nope. Nope. That's two deaths now in that spot. Alright. I am fully enjoying though that Andrew did half of this level without me or Sean as we were having a deep conversation. And then we look back and we're like, oh wait. <laughs> oh shit, stuff's happening. To be fair, he didn't die until we started paying attention. So maybe we shouldn't be paying attention. <laughs> It, it's definitely one of those uh, Kel Mitchell and Mystery Men kind of deals. Alright, now that I'm in cover. Fire away, baby! What? <laughs> oh, you're up here with me. Oh, oh wait. Wow. it actually hit! It hit the one you were looking at! It is not doing much to them. Oh, there we go. It's just take down those shields. There we go! <laughs> it decided it wasn't going to hit the mech. Last gonna hit the second, guy. we're going to go with this guy. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you guys do your job over there? I don't have any more no. rockets to track them. What the fuck? Died, David Kochner. Yeah, yeah. David yeah. Kochner? Yeah. Who's David Kochner? The, uh. He was, um. With Will Ferrell in the News Anchor movie. He was in. I appreciate that the guy is so far out of range that he didn't even move. Nah, fuck him. Garrus, get that out. You get that out. And let's fucking do some damage, boys. Yay, more missiles! Six of them. <sighs> Alright, so this one? Tree, tree. Boom, boom. Uh, that this one's gonna be all the way down to the bottom, right? Uh, this one's gonna go here. Yep. Told you. That one, nope. That uh, one's going up to the left. I've also oh. done that mini game so many times I'm familiar <laughs> with the patterns. If I see them, I'm kind of like, okay, I remember this one. She's dead! Why? Why? Oh, hey, she's back alive. Ah, oh, she's dead These again. Are prisoners. Fuck. Ah, shit. I want to point out, I love his his uh, assault rifle. It's my favorite one of the series, and I use it in three all the time. It's the Revenant. It's got 120 shots. 
Nice. It is literally an arm cannon. You just hold it, and you just go... I just like how he's doing it in one hand. I know. Just shoot from the hip. <laughs> like, shout out to him, man. Now he did double-handed. So you have to destroy all of his shield pylons. Oh, not a problem. You're going to want your... Yeah, SMG or pistol. Trust me on this one. Because they're not going to... And I'm hoping they take out his guards. And then I'll do the rest. Yes, if you use the D-pad, by the way, it does allow your, uh... You can control your squad mates, you know that, right? Sure. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Garrus. Astute as ever. Let's do it, boys! Oh, hey, that's nice. Yeah, that was helpful. Yeah. Wow. Very helpful. And there's the shield pile like right in front of you. Blocking them. Oh, that's Fucking a Batarian. spider face fuck. Still don't like that. That's fair. Ooh, one shot. So you gotta take down one more to get down his shields and then kill him. That's it. Oh, it's grunt. Hey, grunt. It's like... <laughs> You're like... Shh. 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 I'm gonna kill him. Oh, wait. It's grunt. Never Will mind. you go behind the thing? <laughs> Will you go in the... Nope. Fine. Apparently I don't need not. cover. Do my fucking self. He probably does the dragon ball type, but... I got for he did the Harlem shuffle there at the end. What do you... <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, just leave him alive. All right, now it's time to take down Ward. Oh boy! Quick! <laughs> what the fuck? I still miss us fly backwards. <laughs> Why did they circle him? <laughs> Why the fuck? Because everybody knows they do more damage when they spiral. Apparently. Also, the liquor is hitting. Yep. I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. But you still can't taste it. No, I can't. Which is the weird thing. Cerberus. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot. The the bad guys in this. Well, the good guy. Sorry. No, they're back again. Like I said, Rack is working for the bad guys. So Shaq might come back to try to get him back to the good guys. Yes. Yeah. I like that they call them Cer themselves Cerberus. Right. Do you appreciate that? What? There's a lot of references to mythology. You should, you should ask her who's Mr. Hawk. <laughs> Continuity between episodes. I'm pretty sure she doesn't know who Mr. Hawk is. She might. She might look at you and be like, "Who the fuck is Hawk?" Ooh, I like her. Yeah. By the way, I love that all three of the Mass Effect games are rated M, but two is the game where they're like, "We can say fuck all we want." Right? We're like, "Wait, it's rated M." Yeah. First one, very sparing on swear words. Second game, we're going hog wild. Third game, we're gonna censor ourselves. Would you say the second game went hog wild? It went hog wild. <laughs> I hate you for that. I was gonna say, isn't Andromeda? Isn't it just rated T or is it rated M? It's M. They're all M. Okay. Which is good. Well, Andromeda is also the first Mass Effect game to actually have nipples in it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Depending on your sex partner, you can get nipples. Which actually, not gonna lie, if you do the lesbian Cora one, you get both your nipples and her nipples. Wow. You double up on the nips. Exactly. <laughs> and it's really upsetting that in Dragon Age Inquisition, only one female romance gives you nipples. And it's Cassandra. Right. The one that's the least feminine is the one that shows you the nipples. It's because they're almost masculine nipples. Ooh. Although Not to be confused with a feminine penis. The <laughs> the best romance in Inquisition, hands down, is Iron Bull. It's the big old uh fuck, what's his name? Iron Bull. No, no, no. You literally just Fred, said his no, name. No, no. He played Fred in the live action Scooby Doo. Freddy Prince Jr.? Yes! I could not think of his name. You said half of it. I know. <laughs> I told you, I had too much of this you already. forgot the junior part. <laughs> Freddie Prince Jr. plays Iron Bull, and if you romance him, you literally wake up in the morning, he is shirtless and his blanket is over his crotch, and all of your, like, crew important people come in, 
And it's the most awkward moment where you're just kind of like, uh, okay. This is happening, guys. And everyone just kind of goes, oh, God, I'm so sorry. Because, you know, Iron Bull is hung like a bull, so it's like... It's like an elephant trunk just sitting out. They, they motion captured, captured Freddie Prince Jr. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If he had a giant elephant dick, I would not be surprised. All right. We, we got Jack. Jack. Which might be Andrew's second favorite character. Yep. Right after Carlos Alevada. Who? The captain. The guy voiced by uh, Seth Green. Joker? Oh, yeah. We found out earlier in this game his first name is Carlos. 